warming up, feeling out the ring himself, bouncing around, getting familiar. Okay, the tail of tape, 1911 versus 26 and 9. Both 37 years old. And Richardson, two inches shorter. They both weighed in at 142.4. And Strauss with a three inch shorter reach than Richardson. And let's get in to the cage with Big Mo for the final introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your XMMA Co main event of the evening. It is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the featherweight division and is presented by America's Card Room. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 142.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of 19 wins, 11 losses, and he fights out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Introducing Keith the Rockstar Richardson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 142.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of 26 wins, nine losses. And he fights out of Pompano Beach, Florida. Introducing Daniel Strauss. Now you look at the difference in the fighters, Gilbert. Richardson is really pumped up, moving around, throwing punches and kicks. And Strauss just slowly pacing back and forth. Strauss is doing the opposite. You notice that? Yeah, different fighters approach it differently. Some people are calm and composed. You know, Daniel Cormier sprints the ring, but John Jones is very composed as he goes in there. So, I mean, to each their own. Whatever makes it work for them. Total different approach. Let's see how it works out in these three five-minute rounds here at XMMA 3. Oh, oh man, I heard that loud. <laughs> Over under for Strauss, putting against the cage. Richards him with the Body. reversal and then a trip right on some punches. Interesting, because Strauss has always been a very strong wrestler. Look at this. Oh, great. Great body lock for Richardson with the trip, trying to pass from half guard to side mount or just trying to hold half guard. There it is, the half guard position again for the 20th time tonight. Half guard's the move. Tonight's fight sponsored by Half Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Good pressure. Okay. I mean, Actually slowed down here, Richardson. Trying to settle in there at that half guard. He's not, not really trying to spaz too much. He wants to, he wants to put some shoulder pressure, control. He's maybe think. I think he's, he wants to pass. He wants yeah. to stay there. He looked like he, he wants to, to get pass. side control. Looks but, like. But not everybody wants to do that. But it looks like. He yeah, maybe he does want to pass. I think more importantly, he wants to uh, keep control. Right. You want to ride the bull out till the bull stops bucking. And then when the bull stops bucking, you start trying to make your moves. Right there. I don't really know how to respond to that. There's a lot of ways we could go. Keep turk. He, he available for him. Too. There he goes. Look at that windshield wiper in, prying his leg to pass the side mount. Slides through. Now he's in the side mount position. There we go. He finally got there. We talked about this. A lot of guys did not want to go there, but Richardson does. I think Richardson is uh, confident in his submissions. And, and like Russell was saying earlier, there's a lot of submissions you could do from the, the side mount position. You know, the knee on the belly, uh, isolating the arm. I think Daniel's hair actually protects him from getting in arm. Choke because it's oh, hard to wrap. Mount, full mount looks like, gentlemen. Half mount. Quarter. Good. Quarter mount. Find it nice. Trap it. Oh, trapping the nice. arms and delivering a couple of mean shots in the inside. Yeah, it's good to sneak in those elbows and your, your grappling transitions, even if you're grappling heavy here. Would that look like, would that remind me of dirty boxing on the ground? Here's the Kimura attack here, but instead Open of the, the Kimura, body. he traps the ankle, I mean, traps the wrist. Back to the Kimura grip. Richardson's been very impressive thus far, gentlemen. Back to body some more. Yeah, yeah there is there is dirty, dirty grappling right boxing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> dirty grappling? Grappling. Grappling. Are we right getting there. back to the dick moves? Forehead, bring it down. <laughs> not yet, not yet. We're dickless in Seattle at the moment. Good. I tell you what, Richardson has, has done very well thus far. Really controlled Strauss on the ground. Uh, Strauss has not been 
not been super active on the bottom. Is, you know, is he is he patiently waiting for his opportunity? Yeah, good question. You know, he he ha he's not exerting too much energy. It's it's no fun being on the bottom. He's not taking too much damage. Oh, a crucifix. But you could see him. There he goes. He starts bucking there because he knew he was in danger. So he he feels composed here, but he's still losing. Yeah, and now cover in the mouth. That's a veteran move. Veteran move from Richardson. It is legal to cover your opponent's mouth as long as you don't try to stick a finger inside of it. I didn't know that. It is legal. Like I said, as long as you don't try to stick a finger inside his mouth or fish, you can cover his mouth. Nice slide. Keep it there. Yeah, you're correct, uh, Eric Apple. He's trying to get to that side mount position, and we saw other fighters uh, settle in that half guard to control. But um, He's going to go for that crucifix again, I believe. I, that, he's fishing for it still. Well, trying to get that arm across so he can... You're two for two here. Uh, maybe he's setting up a submission. A little north-south almost. A little north-south, right? Trying to isolate that. Knee on the belly. Knee on the belly. Russell, you, go ahead, you call that what it is. It's 69. Well, nice. Look this at situation at 69. Oh, great Full pound and pound here. Oh, Strauss trying to punch back here. I don't know if that's the right choice. Yeah, definitely not. Well, he doesn't want to take it. Pick Might as well. Pick well, you got to cover Oh, he's him hurt up. here. 35 right, seconds right, to go. Yeah, I think if, right oh wow, real smart, Richardson. Nice. Man, Richardson's 30. very calm, cool, and collected. If he can get it done with 30 seconds left here, he's in a superior position, needs to take advantage of this right now. Could go for an armbow, actually. You know, usually I say to be, you know, more reserved, but I would tell my fighter if it was Richardson to go for the finish. Absolutely. I would have said kept for a Oh, vicious here. He, he could have got his, a stoppage. He has his arm around his throat, controlling the wrist here. Wow, big right. Not going well for Daniel Strauss, gentlemen. What a great showing here in this first round for Keith Richardson. Yeah. Who, I mean, you know, I will say both, but Strauss doesn't look tired either, although yeah. he's, been, he's been roughed up. Richardson just strutting to the corner, total domination, has to be feeling really good about himself right here, being able to do that. He got roughed up, but he didn't exert much. True. Yeah, True. yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't look tired. But he's roughed up for sure. At least he knows now what he doesn't want to happen. <laughs> That's for sure. But he looks real calm in the corner. I don't know if you noticed. He, I mean, he sees mellow in the. I mean, considering the amount of strikes he took, he looks very calm, cool, collected yeah. as well. Well, he's a, he's a veteran. He's yeah, a veteran still, in the sport. He's super composed. I don't, care, I don't care how many fights you get. You get hit that many times, it's going to rattle your cage. A little bit for, for, for the average human being, but Daniel Strauss is not the average human being. You said it. He's not. He built different, isn't he? Absolutely. It was. I mean, anyone who wasn't supposed to ever walk again, okay. be back in the cage again. Yep, yeah, at a high level. This isn't a backwoods random show. This is a real deal show against real deal opponents. Right hand up. Daniel Strauss needs to put his foot on the gas in this round. Well, I feel like in the first round, he was almost kind of biding his time. And he, I, I think he wanted to let Richardson use some of his gas. But Richardson looks to be full speed still. Very oh. fresh. I don't think he's worn out. Oh, that uh, something happened there. What? Yeah. He didn't like happen. That's please. Nice. Nice combination. Dang. Inside right hand right. by Richardson. On, on. And he is just out gunning. Oh. 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 He's out gunning Daniel Strauss right now. Very much so. Good. It's hard to watch Good. at the moment, gentlemen. You don't want to go there. You're fine. Take your time. Knee to the inside thigh. Inside the thigh. Thank you. you Car wow. crash down. Let's go. Get it. Richardson is not letting up. Wow. The pressure is coming. He has his head on his opponent's jaw, and he's going to get the takedown once again. Good. And he's going to go right back to work on the ground. I look for him to pass the side mount or, or half guard right away. Let's go. It's like he's figured out the combination for the ground, too. Yes, yes, yes. Elbow to the body. Soften it up again. Keep your position. And this is disheartening for Daniel Strauss. In on the thigh. That sucks. Full mount. Full yeah. mount. Good. It's tough right here. And he's going to go for the finish this time, gentlemen. Yes, and I don't know absolutely. if the referee will, will give Daniel Strauss so much leeway this time scoot, like he did in the first scoot. round. And he just dragged Strauss away. Strauss has his feet on the cage. Maybe he can buck out from here, but Richardson in total right control Good. here. and. Now trap over top. I mean, um, it's going to be tough to imagine Daniel Strauss recovering or reversing this position. Don't get me wrong. He can do it. 
But, I mean, after the beating he took in the first round, right back here with over three minutes to go, this, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, this is looking very tough for, for Strauss tonight. Just, tonight's not looking like his night. I mean, he's definitely – this is tough right here. And he's got a – that's wow, it. That's he stopped it. it. Stopped it. I, I think it was a good decision. I think it was a good decision. I think it was as well. He's arguing. He argue, he's arguing, but I, I'm, I'm going to say that I, I'm not mad at that, 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 that stoppage. He got, he got a big cut. And it wasn't getting any better, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the right decision as well. It was uh, a good call. Richardson was uh, in, in total control here. And um, it's, it's tough taking a loss. So, you know, I, I don't blame Strauss at all. So when you see someone like Strauss who's so tough and so good, and he, you know, does he, is he capable of, of, of reversing that and making it better? Yes, he's capable. Was it likely? Hard to say that. Hard to say, but I think it goes to show how good Keith Richardson is. Keith Richardson is is blowing up on the scene now. With the win like that, he's definitely on the on the radar. Okay, let's look at the last few shots here for the mount. Last few shots. Shot. Shot. Bam. Now, does he look away? He looks, he looks away, away. And the referee says, I got you. I don't know if you heard that. I think he felt like, uh, well, you know, he rolled back. You know, I don't know. Strauss may have an argument. He did roll back into it. He was looking at his opponent because the problem is, is are, are you intelligently defending yourself? If you look away, that's not intelligent you defend yourself. If you are looking at your opponent in the eyes, trying to block shot for shot, that is a definition of intelligent defense. So Strauss, I, I take back what I said. I, I think he was defending himself well enough that, that 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 was a bad time for the referee to stop it, even though Strauss had taken a lot of damage up to that point. Let's jump into the ring with Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 54 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Keith the Rockstar Richardson. Amazing performance for Keith Richardson here. I mean, complete domination. I mean, I, I couldn't believe you did that at Daniel Strauss, a legend out there. I mean, how hard was training camp and did it, obviously everything went according to plan? Yeah, um, yeah, we're a small gym in South Carolina that I own, but uh, we have a great group of individuals there. Yeah, we've got some top top tier talent, um, not only at the gym, but that we work with. Yeah, you know, Brian Battle from the uh, from Team Highestown comes down to the gym regularly. So I just got a great program. Great people uh, surrounded by a great group of people. Um, so yeah, I made training camp a, a breeze. Yeah, you know, we're always training hard, so I'm always ready for short fight against top class talent. No nope. world champ right there. Absolutely, a great performance tonight. I mean, is there anyone on this card? Are you fighting an ex MMA? Is there anyone on the radar? Anyone you're looking to fight next? Like, I'm 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 Marina. I'm still a Marina at heart. All you got to do is pay me. I'm an underpaying assassin. I can I just point, shoot, and kill. You heard it right there, everybody. Keith the Assassin Richardson tonight. Congratulations. You want to thank anybody? Um, everybody that came out, my, fa uh, my family over at Modern Warrior MMA, um, you know, my actual family. Uh, you know, a lot of this was dedicated to uh, my man, Brian Baker. Uh, you know, he hired me as a battle bondsman, was sponsoring me since I was an amateur. Uh, we just lost him like two, me two months ago to uh, COVID. Um, you know, it hit me real hard. So I definitely want to uh, de dedicate this to him and his family. And uh, as always, I dedicate it to, the, to my Marine brothers that, you know, didn't make it home with me. Excellent. Congratulations, Keith Richardson, everybody. Appreciate it, I'll tell you what, his nickname is a rock star, but I think we should officially change the nickname to the underpaid warrior, or the underpaid assassin. That's a good one. The underpaid assassin. And now, as we take a look at some of the highlights of that just shellacking by Keith Richardson, we are gonna get ready for our main event. Russell, I can't believe it. We have 10 fights down and just one, one more left. fight to go.